it's a new <laughs> hey guys it's lindy so for today's video i'm going to share with you my top seven favorite places in the lorraine region of france i've been lucky enough to have lived and traveled within this region for the past couple of years and within that time i've discovered some hidden gems and wanted to share with you my favorite spots in la lorraine so to start, La Lorraine is in the northeast of France, and it's a rather rural and forested region. So there's a lot of opportunities to hike, ski, bike, enjoy nature and the calm of the countryside, but also has some larger cities to experience. This region is the only French region to have borders with three other countries, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Germany. Throughout history, La Lorraine has gone back and forth a few times between French and German ownership, but in 1919, with the Treaty of Versailles, the German Empire lost a few territories, including the Lorraine part of Alsace-Lorraine, therefore becoming French. Now, without further ado, here are my top places. Gérardmer. So Gérardmer is a city in the Vosges part of La Lorraine. It's particularly known for its beautiful lake, you can stroll around the lake, rent kayaks, grab lunch at some yummy little restaurants in town, but they also have skiing and there's options for bike riding. The city itself has some events throughout the year and it is fairly small, but there are still things to do and um, especially great for a little day trip by the lake. Epinal, Vieille Ville. Now we're going to a larger city, Epinal. If you ask those in the region, they might not say Epinal is on their list of top cities, <laughs> but I think the old town part, or La Vieille Ville, deserves mentioning. In the old town, there's Place des Vosges, Le Quartier du Chapitre, and it's just like this really cute area with lots of bright colors and historical streets and buildings. Epinal also has a medieval castle and several parks, gardens, and a large communal forest, which is pretty cool. Going from city back to countryside, one thing that I enjoy about this region is it's filled with many, like many <laughs> small towns and open countryside, which is really great for bike riding and just like picturesque walks. So you have like the fresh air, you're surrounded by nature, animals, there's local produce, small town friendliness, and you get that open space that you don't find in the city. Metz. All right, this city uh, I definitely need to explore more. Metz is in the Moselle department. When I visited, I noticed how much green space there was. And I actually looked it up and saw they do a lot with urban ecology. So much so that it actually got the nickname, the green city, La Ville Verte. Like I said, there's lots of parks and gardens. There's museums, concerts. There are also several universities too. So it's quite the student city. It also has a lot of yellow limestone architecture. And the train station in Miss was voted the prettiest station in all of France, <laughs> which my friend from Miss always mentions. So I thought I have to mention it here. <laughs> and one other fun fact, the region is known for the fruit, the Mirabel plum, and this city has a festival every August for this cute little fruit. <laughs> they have floats and activities, markets, fireworks. I haven't been yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to going. The Lac des Corbeaux, or Crow's Lake, uh, near La Presse. So again, it's in the Vosges part of La Lorraine. I've actually mentioned this spot in my top nine places in all of France. Um, if you're interested, I'll link the video above. So it definitely makes the cut for this region. Le Lac des Corbeaux is truly gorgeous. You have this beautiful view after a bit of a hike and then during the summer, you can even swim or kayak. They also have a little cafe at the bottom. And plus it's near the city La Presse which in itself is great for nature lovers, skiing, forests. It's just a really nice area. Nancy. How can I mention this region without mentioning Nancy? Now I have to admit, it took me some time to enjoy this city. This was often my stopover city whenever I took the train and traveled within France. It's located in the Mertemoiselle department and it's famous for its beautiful square 
called Place Danseneuse, which is actually a UNESCO site. It did take me a bit to discover those spots I really enjoyed in the city. It has several big streets, which is great for shopping, but like what I really enjoyed about the city was finding those little spots that make it special. I really liked this one beautiful park, as well as some great restaurants and cafes. It's definitely a student city, so there's a lot of great nightlife and things to do, such as like museums and concerts and all that kind of fun stuff. Now we have Bar le Duc. So I thought to throw this little city from the Meuse department into the list as well. It's definitely a day trip, but it's a nice stopover for some lunch or sitting at a cafe, as well as walking around the old town. Again, it's more of a short little stop, but it's still a cute city to know if you're ever in the area. All right, and that's a wrap on my list of seven places in the Lorraine region that I love. Thank you so much for watching and let me know below if you've visited any of these spots or if you have any to add. I would love to discover some cool places in the region, so yeah, please let me know. And like always, if you want any travel and France related videos, feel free to subscribe if you like and check out my channel. Uh, thanks so much. Bisous. Salut, ciao.